We are the writers of The Alternative. We are very excited to be bringing our play, The Alternative, to... Well, it's the bell table in reality, but in our reality of the play, it's called... It the King George Theatre, Limerick. I'm Karen Ardiff and I play Ursula Lysett, who is the Prime Minister of Ireland and the UK. The Alternative is set on the eve of a referendum to see will Ireland secede from the UK. And certainly my character has rushed to BBC Dublin in order to make the case for Remain. My name is Maeve Fitzgerald and I'm playing Grania in The Alternative. Grania is a student of science. She's been very misunderstood for her whole life. And on the night of the live TV debate for the referendum to decide whether Ireland should leave the UK or not, she goes to the television studio where her father works to ask him some very important questions. But over the course of the night, she learns a lot more about him, about her family and about life than she bargained for. I'm Lorcan Cranich. Uh, the character I play is a fellow called Richard Devlin. And he is the producer of uh, this television debate, um, which uh, for him, he's coming towards the end of his career, could be a career defining moment. And so uh, there's an awful lot of anxiety attached to that. I'm Rachel O'Byrne and I am playing Hannah in The Alternative. Like many generations of women before her, Hannah is really good at running the show while making it seem like the big boys are in charge. My name is Rory Nolan and I play John Fitzgibbon. John Fitzgibbon is the greatest news television anchor on planet Earth as far as he's concerned. My name is Arthur Reardon. I'm playing Peter Kyo, who's the First Minister of Ireland. Uh, Peter Kyo was, he would be a not unfamiliar type of character in, in Irish politics. He sees himself as a man of the people. Leave referendum falls in his lap and he's, um, he's not gonna let this chance go to waste. The Alternative is a uh, high-concept, brilliant theatre show written by two emerging new playwrights, Ushin Carney and Michael Patrick. It's about what it means to be Irish. It's about uh, alternate realities. <laughs> the, the human side of the story concerns a young woman's quest for the truth. The main driving of, of the story is actually a, a personal story between a, a father and a daughter, so I think that's universal. So if you're not into Irish politics, or history in any way, shape or form, there's, there's a real core. With elements of political satire, science fiction, and at the centre of family story. And there's a beautiful tension between these different strands, which do come together, but there's a lovely tension between them at the same time. It's vastly prescient and very interesting and poses an awful lot of questions about where we are now. Come and see it.